Hello, my name is uh, Derek Morrison. I'm a sales manager with Toshiba Canada. I'd like to talk to you about our latest uh, Microsoft 365 Scan to SharePoint app. Uh, I'm going to share a screen and we'll start right away. So what we're looking at now is a close-up of the LCD panel of the copyright behind me here. Um, I'm going to scroll over one page uh, to... Um, uh, this page here, we can see three icons, one for Exchange, one for OneDrive for Business, and one for SharePoint. We're going to scan to SharePoint. Uh, because I'm scanning directly to my uh, SharePoint site, I need to uh, authenticate and prove this myself at the copier, so I have to type in a PIN code. If I had a card swipe, I could use that. And the copier is now logging into the SharePoint site. I also want to mention that um, I have single sign-on uh, enabled, so I don't have to keep on typing my username and password every time. So with the Toshiba uh, SharePoint app, we can scan up to uh, 12 different sites within um, SharePoint. We can search the sites, and uh, if we can't see what we have here, but I'm going to scan this one here called Eagle River. And I want to mention as well that we have a, we're ability to scan to uh, a shared file folder where everyone can see the content of the document in SharePoint, or we can scan to a specific folder like this one here called Documents. A few documents in there now, but I'm going to scan and I have a piece of paper in the document feeder now. Um, it's from a company called Maritime Bus. I'm going to clear that out. Uh, it's in color. It's a single-sided document, and I want to scan this as with OCR turned on and PDF to make it a searchable PDF. I could make it a, um, a, a Word file, Excel file, or PowerPoint, but I want to make it a searchable PDF. And preview is on and start. So the document's been scanned. There it is right there. I'm going to press job finish. It's creating the document and sending it off to SharePoint. So I'm just going to refresh the screen. And there's Maritime bus there. And let me give you a little uh, image of the uh, PDF. So because I made that uh, scan a searchable PDF uh, here in SharePoint, I'm not quite sure where I put it. I just have to type in the keywords. And it will fairly quickly find that document. Uh, there it is right there. And I'm gonna make this document a bit bigger. And I know the customer was a company called uh, The Snore Shop. I just search here. There it is. Uh, a little hard to see the contrast up there, but it does find that text I typed in. So this makes for an entry level document management system, which can be a very effective in finding your documents by just typing in a few keywords. I programmed this in the background. I went to the IP address of the copier, brings us to top access, web browser, administration, um, application list. Here we are right here for SharePoint. Uh, it allows me to do a bunch of things, but basically I programmed in uh, Eagle River Mortgages right here like this.
And I just want to mention for this demo, I'm using one of the Toshiba's very latest uh, E2528A copiers at the very latest version 1801 firmware and the very latest 4.6.03 app version for SharePoint. Uh, as you can see, this is my contact information. Uh, any questions, I'd be happy to help. Uh, the Toshiba SharePoint app is a licensed app. It's not free. You have to pay for it and someone has to install it. But I think once installed, your users will find it uh, very um, uh, easy to scan in, into their various uh, SharePoint sites. They can rename files. They can make them, uh, for example, a searchable PDF. All our current Toshiba copiers offer uh, optical character recognition included. And um, this makes the beginnings of a uh, document management system. So I hope you found this uh, video uh, informative. And we'll see you in the next one. Uh, thank you. Bye.